Well, good day, everyone, and thank you for having me here today. The Red Deer River Watershed Alliance is an important piece of Alberta's flood and drought resilience plan in central Alberta. The Alberta government has worked together with the Alliance on multiple projects that have focused on conservation work that protects and restores watersheds and riparian areas, as well as on key outreach to key stakeholders in the province. Alberta has been dry this summer, and it has had an effect on the stream's flows and water availability throughout central and southern Alberta. The agriculture sector has been hit especially hard by this drought, and the Alberta government has responded as quickly as possible. Alberta Environment Parks directly supported livestock producers by providing drought management education and issued 30 authorizations for emergency hay, grazing, or other livestock approvals. We worked hard to find alternative sources of water for the driest areas. Now, water shortages are not uncommon in central and southern Alberta, and Alberta Environment Parks is no stranger to taking action and providing aid for those affected by drought. As some of you may well know, Alberta Environment Parks operates the Dixon Dam on the main stem of the Red Deer River, and this important dam provides year-round assured water supply to downstream users in the Red Deer River Basin. This dam plays an important role in both flood and drought resilience. Of course, the Dixon Dam is not the only major water support that the Alberta government has for the Red Deer area. Through the Alberta Water Council, we have also worked on projects such as the recent Alberta Water Futures Report, a report that informs our collective approach to water management, which is a shared responsibility and an important tool to help shape our understanding of how to combat drought and flooding throughout the province. I also would like to take a moment to provide an update on the Alberta Watershed Resilience and Restoration Program. $3.5 million has been allocated for WRRP grant funding for next year, and we expect project decisions will be made before the end of the fiscal year, which will allow successful grant recipients to begin work on their projects during the 2022 construction season. The faster we can approve construction, the faster these vital watershed resilience and restoration projects can be completed to protect all Albertans. Since the creation of the program in 2014, the Watershed Resilience and Restoration Program has funded the restoration, enhancement and conservation of more than 750 hectares of wetland and over 1,500 hectares of riparian areas, covering more than 150 kilometres of steam bank. The WRRP also contributes projects that create awareness and encourage stewardship, which has led to over 2,600 hectares of critical watershed lands being conserved and funded under the Alberta Land Trust Grant Program. Alberta Environment Parks values are important partners in the community, and we thank everyone for doing their part to protect and conserve the region in the province. One such organization is the Cows and Fish Program, which has been an important partner for us for a while now, and we have provided a million dollars of funding to support their projects and initiatives that protect creeks and streams along Alberta's eastern slopes. This funding will help Cows and Fish deliver repairing area restoration and bioengineering projects, repairing area health inventory and assessment reporting, and riparian area management courses in collaboration with other stakeholders. I appreciate everyone who has the passion and expertise to protect and conserve their environment. The drought and dry summer throughout central and southern Alberta is a very real and problematic issue that must be tackled every year that it happens. The Alberta government is working very hard with community partners and stakeholders to provide support and funding for the important issues of drought and flooding in our province. Thank you all for taking the time to be here, and I wish you all a great rest of the week.